Hey guys, it's Amber, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome to my channel and to my first sniffs of the brand new Bring Back My Bars that will be available come January 1st. I'm so, so excited about this round because only one, yeah, only one of these have I ever had in the past. All the rest of them I've never smelled. Um, so I'm very excited. I've been one of those that has been tired of seeing the same things come back over and over again. Um, I'm ready for some new stuff. So I've been watching other people's reviews because I have been curious, um, but I'm ready to dive in and give you my thoughts on these first sniffs. Um, going into it, I do know there is one that I can't melt and there's one that I don't want to melt. Um, so which was why mine uh, is coming a little bit later is because I was trying to decide if I even wanted to get the full kit because of those two bars and we'll get to them when we get to them. Um, but I decided to go ahead and um, get, get it anyway because there's so many so many that I'm excited to try. Um, so let's dive into it. I did put it in alphabetical order and my hair is just a mess today. Sorry guys. Um, it's been a busy month for me and uh, a lot going on right now for me, which is why uh, videos have been a little more sporadic, but um, I'm sure December is busy for everybody. So Okay, let's jump into it. I, what did I, did I say it? they're in alphabetical order? I've put them in alphabetical order. So I, yeah, I just like doing it best that way. And I do have notes. And then I will probably rank them. Yeah, because I usually do. I usually do rank, it's a lot of bars to rank, but I know that's how I do it, have done it in the past. My least favorite to most favorite. So we'll see. Okay, so the first one on the list is Amaretto. And this is an almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. So I've heard some people say it's very similar to um, cherry almond pie, which I'm not a fan of, but also similar, I've had other people say it's similar to Buzzworthy, which I adore. So we'll see. We'll see what way uh, it goes for me. So it's a cream color. Okay. Okay. It's reading a little more cherry almond pie to my nose, but not as strong as cherry almond pie. You do get a cherry element to this almond. The top I like better than the bottom. The bottom is where I get that um, cloying cherry almond. So on the on the top, it's more of uh, someone else was saying this. It's kind of like an almond lotion. Um, is kind of what I'm getting from it on the top. There's a I think it's Jergens. Is it Jergens lotion? There's one that's kind of almondy. I think it might be Jergens. But I'm I'm not sure. It's like a classic lotion that's been around for quite a while. And I do remember it kind of being an almondy type of scent. So we'll see how it is melting. I liked it on the top, less so on the bottom. So okay, next we have Awakening. And this is one I've heard some interesting <laughs> comments about. So awakening is invigorate your senses with an unexpected harmony of white peach and vanilla, pineapple and amber. So I've heard it's more of a body care rather than like edible fruit. Pretty peachy color. Okay, I get... Yeah, it's not as bad as some people were saying. Some people were saying like toilet, toilet bowl um, cleaner. I'm not getting that. I it definitely leans more. It's more of a like like I said, body care ish, um, rather than 
an authentic fruit. Um, I'm getting that pineapple and it, a sweet peach. And it's probably the amber that's making it like um, more of a, like a body care scent. To me, it doesn't remind me of a toilet bowl cleaner or anything like that, but um, not a super favorite, but it's fine for sure. Okay, next is Bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. So this is a delicious tropical banana mixed with coconut milk and island vanilla reminiscent of banana flavored taffy. So this... This is actually another one that I kind of wasn't thrilled about because I don't like banana candy scents um, in home fragrance. Well, I don't like to eat them either. I, and banana but nut bread does give me that. And so, but there are others like banana berry I love. I think that's a wonderful one. So there are some banana scents that aren't giving me that. Um, so we'll see how this one does. Okay. Okay, yeah, on the bottom, it's more um, banana Laffy Taffy. On the top, it's more creamy banana. Almost authentic, like real banana, but still on the sweeter candied side. But the bottom definitely gives me more of that um, Laffy Taffy vibe. I think this one may end up being, I'm, I'm going to melt it, obviously, but it may be one that, um, there's another one in this um, group, Strawberry Sweetie, that I think might be nice mixed together. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, next one is Blood Orange Spice, which has been around um, in the catalog like three years ago, I think was the last time it was around but I never got around to picking this one up. I'm not a huge blood orange fan. It's very, it can be very bitter to my nose. Um, so I never picked this one up. So we shall see how it smells to me. This sweet tart trio of candied apple, see apple I can get behind. Blood orange puree and cinnamon stick will satisfy your autumn obsession. So here is the container and it is red. Okay. I'm getting the apple on the bottom more. This isn't actually that bad. I think with the apple, the bitterness from the blood orange is toned down. Um, smelling it more, I'm kind of getting a little bit more of that bitter note. Uh, but I think this might be nice. It's a lot less pungent than I was expecting it to be for sure. So um, we'll see how it works for me once I melt it. Okay, next is caramel sugar cone, or actually no, because I did them in um, traditional um, alphabetical order. So next is actually Buzz Lightyear, even though they have it as Disney Buzz Lightyear on the list. But I'm doing Buzz Lightyear. So this is the next one. And look how cute the label is. My oldest used to, well, my youngest son as well, used to like be so into Toy Story. So we had Buzz and we had Woody and, and all of those. So I think this this brings me back. This gives me those nostalgia vibes for sure. So this is a blast off to a galaxy of endless imagination where fizzy orange and black currant are cosmically balanced with plum blossom and sugared raspberry. Okay, let's see. It is purple. is very fizzy on the bottom to my nose. I get the 
this is nice. It's nice and fruity. I liked the bottom better than the the top. I get that floral, which was kind of throwing me for a second there. But I think coming together, all those notes coming together will be really nice. Fizzy orange. I get I get that raspberry. And yeah, current sometimes reads funky to my nose. Um, kind of like Oh, mulberry. I can't do mulberry. Mulberry is, uh, if you love mulberry, that's awesome. But to me, it's, to my nose, it's blah. <laughs> but current sometimes gives me that vibe, not as strong as mulberry. But I get that same kind of funkiness sometimes with current. Um, with this one, I don't get it, I think, because it's mixed with everything else so nicely. I'm not really getting that thankfully. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try that one. Okay. Then next we have, what was next? Yeah. Yes. Yes. This one. <laughs> I'm out of order. Caramel sugar cone. Caramel sugar cone is, oh, before I smell it, guilt-free gooey caramel vanilla sugar cone and a touch of malt. Ooh, this is nice. Oh yeah, this is good. This is almost giving me, this almost smells like there's, I don't know why, like there's a berry note mixed in. I don't know if any of you that have smelled these already or have experienced the scent in the past, if you get that, at least on cold, I almost already get like a berry type, type of note mixed in, which, um, Someone has a scent that's like berry waffle cone. I think it's bring back my, or not bring back my bar, Bath and Body Works. It might be Homeworks. I can never keep track. But that's kind of what I'm getting. Ooh, I like this. It's weird that I am getting that note. I do get caramel. And it's not overly, it's not like super heavy caramel. It's kind of a caramel you would get more like in the summer on a vanilla cone, kind of like vanilla waves, but vanilla waves is different than this too. But I get that. I do get like a cone-ish note. And for me, I get some sort of berry. I don't know. I don't know. It smells really good. <laughs> My nose is just doing weird things. Okay, next we have cinnamon. So cinnamon. This is warm, earthy cinnamon and spices melded with cool bursts of crisp peppermint. All right. Okay, this is a, so I was curious to see how similar to Christmas Cottage Mint this was, um, which is out in the Senspirations collection right now, the Christmas Cottage Senspirations. That is one of them. And I actually um, like that one. I liked it better on cold rather than warm. So I was curious to see how close that one was and this one. This is more nose clearing peppermint for sure. To me, I get more peppermint. Well, on the top, I get cinnamon. On the bottom, it's stronger peppermint. I don't mind this. I like it. Someone mentioned it was similar to like Big Red Gum. I get that. This is <laughs> cinnamon and peppermint. That's what it is. I like it. I do like it. So that is cinnamon. Then the next we one we have is Cranberry Mango. And this is a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. So let's see what we got. It's a burgundy color. Oh, this is nice. Let's see. I get that pineapple on the bottom. I don't really get a spiciness. I wonder if this is, I was like, what would I compare this to? Because it is something... You get cranberry, but not to where it makes it 
full on holiday where you melt it just in the fall and winter. I do get mango, but not to where it's like I can only melt it in the spring and summer. It feels like one that you could absolutely do all year. And it would work in either of the four seasons for sure. This is nice. This is a nice fruity scent. Okay, next is Crazy Coconut, which is coconut milk, mixed fruit, and vanilla ice cream. Yum. So we got that. And if you're wondering about the bicycle, at one point in time, they since he had a kids category um, before they switched it to a um, family sent family type of categories. Um, so they had a kids section of scents. But I, I'm glad they switched it from that because I'm not a kid <laughs> at all. I may act like a kid sometimes, but I'm not a kid. And I like scents like these, so. It is a blue greenish color. Okay, this reminds me. Oh, this is actually not bad at all. This reminds me of, I do get a sweetness from a fruit, mixed fruit. I don't get like a specific fruit. It is like fruit cocktail type of note. And coconut milk. I know some people say they have issues with Sensi's coconuts. I get various coconuts. It just depends on, like, this coconut is definitely not the same as, like, Coastal Sunset coconut. Um, I think they use different coconut o um, oils, essential, you know, fragrance oils, personally. So they don't all smell the same to me. And this one is more along the same lines as the coconut in um, the one from the Mother's Day collection. Blue Coconut Beach. I think that's what it was called. Very creamy, sweet coconut. I don't get any vanilla ice cream, really. But this is nice. I like it. So, uh, Crazy Coconut. Okay, next is, this one I've heard was controversial too, Everything Nice. I was excited about this one coming back because this one from the notes, I was like, ooh, this one looks like one I would really like. And I don't mind um, Sensi's Squashy Pumpkin. Pumpkin like coconut, there's all different ones that Sensi uses different oils to my nose. I they don't use the same pumpkin note in all their pumpkin scents. Like pumpkin roll is a different pumpkin than Forever Falls pumpkin. So it just depends. But if you're not big into pumpkin, you don't like pumpkin, then maybe they'll smell the same. But <laughs> let me read the notes and then give it a sniff. Hopefully it's good for me. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Deep caramel and swirls of butter with roasted pumpkin and glazed pecans. See, that sounds delicious. Okay. This is interesting. This is very interesting. It is definitely a roasted pumpkin. I don't get, thank goodness, Martha from... Uh, Martha, I don't remember your channel. You can leave it in the description. I can't remember Fragrance Corner, Martha's favorite Fragrance Corner. She was someone that had a very adverse reaction to the scent where she thought it smelled like pee. And thank goodness, Martha, I do not get pee from this. I get a roasted pumpkin for sure. This is a more savory scent, even though it says there's caramel in it. This is a savory a savory pumpkin. I like it. I actually like this. Can I say it's my favorite pumpkin? No. Do I like it better than Forever Fall? Possibly. That one was sweeter than this. I think if you were to mix this with something um, to sweeten it up, it might be better for you if it's too savory. But I get a nuttiness. I get that roasted pumpkin and it is very buttery. I don't get much in the way of caramel. 
I like it. I think it's good. So hopefully it'll smell good to me when it's warming too. Okay. I'm sorry for those of you that get not good notes from it. Okay, next one is Falling Leaves. And I love the label on this one. This one is an earthy blend of clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. Can I just say I was surprised at how many scents have patchouli in it? I mean, not to mention the one that's like all patchouli. But I'm willing to try the ones that have patchouli in the notes. Hopefully I like them. I'm very adverse to patchouli. So that was one of the reasons why I was maybe not getting this kit right when it um, was available to us consultants is because patchouli, I like gag. Like if it's super strong patchouli. So <laughs> anyway, I'm dreading smelling the Simply Patchouli. That's the one that I know I won't melt. And I'm someone that always um, advocates for melting a scent. Um, even if you don't like it on cold, because sometimes they change um, when those uh, notes come together and they're warming, it can change the scent and you can end up loving it. I've had scents do that to where I end up loving it. Once I've melted it, when I didn't really like it on warm, well, <laughs> I'm not giving Simply a Patchouli a chance. That's going to be uh, given <laughs> to someone else because yeah, no. No, that one's not for me. I already know. Okay, so back to falling leaves. This just has it in with other stuff, so hopefully it'll be okay. So it was clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. Very clove heavy. Especially on the bottom. And I do get a patchouli, but it's not the strongest note. I would say clove strongest, then cinnamon followed by the patchouli. So yeah, uh, we'll see how it does. Not, not my favorite for sure, but not terrible either. Okay, the next one is frosted ginger cookie which is chewy brown sugar cookies spiked with warm ginger and fragrant vanilla. So if you've been um, a watcher of my channel for a while, you know I am allergic to ginger. So this is the one that I can't warm. I wish I could warm this one, but I can't because of the ginger in it. But I do want to smell it on cold just so I can see what I'm missing out on. I'll probably end up being sadder if I end up loving it. Oh, okay. It is very fresh ginger. I almost, I don't know what it is. I almost get a cereal, like a fruity cereal note to this one too. I don't know why. What was the... The Vanilla Barnwood gives me Fruit Loops. This one is more like trick cereal <laughs> to my nose. My nose is doing really weird things. I don't know, but I can't melt it anyway. So it's not bad, but I'm not like heartbroken broken smelling this on cold. I'm not heartbroken about it. So. <laughs> So that is frosted ginger cookie. Okay, that's very strong though. Oh my goodness, hopefully there's no reaction to just smelling that on cold because it's very strong. Okay, and smells like tricks a little bit to my nose. Okay, next one is lavender vanilla. And this one is relaxing mix of hillside lavender, vanilla beans, orange zest, vest, orange zest and patchouli. It's another one with patchouli. This is white. Okay. Mm. This isn't my favorite. I don't, 
I think smelling this, that lavender is probably the, to my nose, the um, faintest note, the weakest note to me. I get vanilla, I get the orange, I unfortunately get patchouli, and then that lavender. It's kind of like a soap, like a fancy soap that maybe your grandma would have. <laughs> I don't know. I'll melt it, but that one I'm not super fan of for sure. Okay, next one is Lana Sara, and this one is Taste the Sweet Nectar from a Honeysuckle Trumpet as Warm Amber and Patchouli Hover Above a Spring Garden. It is beautiful pink. Okay, see the patchouli in this one, this one's not as bad. This is another one though that's kind of soapy to my nose, like old fashioned grandma soap. So this is like, to me, this is like the spring version of grandma's soap. And this is more of the like fall version of grandma's soap. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, so that's Lana Sarah. I'm glad that one was able to come back though because it was something that was, um, Another Sensi sister had been wanting for a long time. It was attached to a very precious scent memory for her. And so I'm glad we were able to get that one back for her. That's for sure. Okay, the next one is called Lots of Lavender. And I love the green and the purple. And this one is Calming Blend of Chamomile and Lavender. I've heard this one's good. Oh yeah, I like this one a lot better than the lavender vanilla. This one is sweet. This is a lot sweeter. And the, I was worried about the chamomile because sometimes that can be a little too like herbal to me. I don't mind drinking chamomile tea, but as far as home fragrance, I'm not the hugest fan of it. But it's really nice. This is really nice. I like this one. It's sweet and pretty. So that is lots of lavender. Okay, then we have, where are we? The next one, which is Peony Petals. And this one is Peony and Rose Petals Dance on a Soft Breeze. And I don't mind, depends on the rose. Um, some roses I like, some I don't. I'm not like anti-rose. This one is rose forward though to my nose, but it is mixed with that peony. It's not as sweet as some people have been saying as far as florals go. I prefer a sweeter floral. This one does lean. <laughs> This is another one that leans soapy to me. I don't know why, but I'm getting, whoo, now I'm getting a headache from it a little. This one leans a little soapy, like floral soapiness. So that's three that have done that to me. I don't know, but you get rose and you do get peony. So that's peony petals. Okay, I think I need to clear my nose holes a little. Okay, next is red cedar and sage this one is run free through red cedar sage and fresh forest greens so i've been i've been told that this is more of like a true similar to rustic lodge but more of a um like the actual no cologne note to it so we'll see how how my nose picks it up because it was a little rustic lodge was a bit um too much cologne i didn't dislike it but it was a little cologne to me okay yeah this is more like true truly authentic outdoorsy i'm not i get the cedar for sure 
that's probably this the strongest note to my nose, which is good. I'm hit and miss with sage. I like um, huckleberry sage. I enjoyed um, the sage that's in the um, frozen bar. I can't remember the one with the reindeer, Sven. That one I didn't like, but in here I don't mind it. This is very strong though. And very, oh, I'm getting sage now a little. Very outdoorsy, definitely wood, woodsy being outside. No cologne note to my nose. So I, I feel like you would need to love cedar probably. If you're anti-cedar at all, you probably wouldn't like that one all that much. Okay, it's time. <laughs> that dreaded Simply Patchouli Bar. Okay, this one is Dive Into the Rich Earthy Scent of Patchouli. All right, let's see. Let me clear my nose. Okay, it is green. No, no, yeah, no, I'm not smelling that anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm happy for those of you that were really wanting the scent back, but for me, yeah, no, I'm not going to be melting that one. That one, yeah, no. Okay, moving on. Next is Strawberry Sweetie. And Strawberry Sweetie is a fruity delight of strawberries sprinkled with sugar and vanilla. Okay. Okay, this is very... Oh. Um, this... I'm, I'm trying to... It's been a while since I've smelled sugared strawberries. This is more like... Those strawberry candies that you get in, um, when you buy the little cheese and meat Hillshire Farms packets during Christmas time, and you get those little strawberry candies, the hard candies, that's what this smells like to me. Whereas sugar strawberries from what I remember, that one's kind of candy-ish as well, but that one is more of like a strawberry reduction, um, that you put over uh, like strawberry shortcake, that sort of thing. Whereas this is more those little strawberry hard candies. I don't dislike it. It's actually really good. And I do feel like it would be very sweet though. I'm gonna smell both this and bananas together. Cause that's what I feel like might be really nice to get <laughs> together. And give me more of the banana berry vibes. So, so pretty good, pretty good. Okay, next one is toasted apple butter. And the label on this one is adorable. This was one of the ones I was super excited about um, coming into Bring Back My Bar 2. So this one is creamy butter blended with ripe apples accented with rich spices. It is another creamy brown color. Oh, this is good. Let me see the bottom. I do get a toasty note to this. It's not as strong as the toasty note in Everything Nice, but there is a toasty quality to it. Oh, this, I like this. I think this is better than baked apple pie. This is good. I really like this. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Yay! Okay, cool. Toasted apple butter. Then the next one is toasted caramel sugar. This one has little ice cream cones on it, so that's cute too. So this is warm sh warm milk and caramelized sugar and toffee all swirled together with a, the scent of silky sweet vanilla musk. 
Oh, wow. This, this one, <laughs> this one is so good. It smells, someone else, uh, I can't remember who said it, but it totally does. It smells like a creme brulee. You do get that like charred sugar that's on top of a creme brulee. Um, that's what you get. Oh, this is so good. This is really good. It reminds me a little of like toasted marshmallows too. And I know since he had a scent um, that was toasted marshmallow, they came back. Um, it was in the catalog for a minute a few years ago, and then it came back in a an Easter collection two years ago, I think. And I enjoyed that one. That one was good, but it wasn't like club worthy for me. Uh, this one to me, like seriously, has that charred marshmallow when you've roasted it almost to the point where you've roasted it too much over the flames that's what you get oh wow this is so good wow i really like this one <laughs> so that is toasted caramel sugar i'm happy that one made it into because that was one of the ones that i was looking forward to as well so yay i'm so glad that i liked it Okay, next one is Twilight. So Twilight. This is a lovely, sophisticated scent infused with soft, romantic florals and ocean air. So black and then red. I think this was the an homage to the books. So I, I'm a big Twilight book fan. I can admit it. Not so much I enjoyed the movies. They were fine. Um, but I, I will always love the books. So I think this came out during that time, the heyday of the books. And so I think that's why if I had to guess it's black and red. So I'm wondering, cause like I said, I'm a super fan. I'm a very avid book reader. I'm a bookworm and I love the series. And so I know things like, um, Bella smells like freesia that's kind of the note that Edward gets <laughs> when he smells her blood is like freesia. So I'm curious to know if there's freesia in this. And then the ocean air because Forks is on the ocean, you know, it's by the ocean. So that's why I think this is kind of like a tribute to the actual book. Okay, this is, woo, this is strong. This is a strong floral. And there may be freesia, but it's not just freesia. It's, it's like a mixture of florals. And then I do get like a salty aquatic note. So, yeah. Not my type of scent for sure. It is very strong. I don't hate it though. It's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of like the others where it's a little soapy. This is less soapy to me than those other three. The So that's good at least, but it, it definitely is more of like a bathroom scent to my nose, but I would be afraid to put it in my bathroom because it's so strong. I would have to cut, I would have to cut them. So we'll see how it performs. I always, I always um, melt them. Uh, first in my open concept area and then adjust accordingly. So I'll try, I'll try all of these out there except for Simply Patchouli. Sorry, I'm not talking about that one. Oh, and Frosted Ginger Cookie. Um, so we'll see how that does and what I think about it while it's melting there. Okay, next is Twitter Pated. So this is the only bar out of all of them that I've tried. And this one actually used to be in my club. So this one is spring is in the air and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet in a swirl of sun-kissed Meyer lemon, morning dew drops and lush wild moss. So let's smell it again because it hasn't been a minute. I think last year was the last time I've melted it. 
Um, and then I have no more bars. Okay, yes. Yeah, see, this is nice. This is a nice fresh spring scent to me. It can lean a little cologne with that moss note. Usually if a scent has moss in it, it's a kind of cologne-ish to my nose anyway. But it is a bright, fresh spring um, green scent. I like it. I do like it. I don't think I'll put it back in my club though or anything, but I may get another bar or so from, of that one. We'll see. Okay. This next one I'm excited about too. It is Vanilla Walnut. And this is a warm fragrance with toasted walnut and sweet vanilla bean. And it's a cream color. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is really nice. You do get that nuttiness. I don't, I can't smell it and say, oh, this is walnut I'm smelling, but it is a nut, like a nuttiness. Um, to me, it could read pecan as well, if I didn't know that it was supposed to be walnut. And then you get a sweet vanilla with it. It's nice. I like it. So that's that one. So that is vanilla walnut. And then the last one is whipped vanilla pear. And I was excited about this one as well. So this is a luxuriant caramel glaze, tops baked pear and whipped vanilla. Okay, this is pretty. This is more of like a bedroomy scent rather than a bakery scent. It's kind of similar to the pear that's in, that uh, came out two Januarys ago, I think it was, Caramel Pear Crisp. It's pretty, it is pretty. I do think I like this one better than Caramel Pear Crisp, but but if you're expecting like a dessert, like an edible type bakery scent, that's not what this is. It's a sweet, more like bedroom um, body care type pear, caramel, and vanilla. I like it though. It, it is very nice. So, okay. Do I want to rank them all or just give you my top? <laughs> I think I'll save the least to most favorite um, for my after melting. And for this one, I'll just give you my, my least favorite, which you guys already know. It's simply patchouli. Yeah, no. That one makes me gag, so I don't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know some of you love this, which I'm, like I said, I'm so happy this one came back for those of you that have been wanting it forever, that wanted a patchouli scent. I've heard other people say, oh, I wish since you came out with some good patchouli scents. Well, we got quite a few with patchouli, including one that's just patchouli, this uh, Bring Back My Bar. So this session is for you guys for sure. Okay, and then my top, I'll do six. Let's see. So this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. That is one, two, three, four, five. And hmm, should I do this one or that one? Or this one. Hmm. Actually, now I have to. I have to smell all these. Oh, that one is so good, so unique. Oh my gosh! I know what my number one is. Ooh. Um. Okay. I'm gonna do this. We'll see. We'll see. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here are my six. 
Okay, number six, everything nice. This is just a very unique savory roasted pumpkin. I think it would be really good if you mixed, if you wanted to sweeten it up to mix some other scents with it. But I like it. I think it's good. So everything nice. Then I think, actually, that one might, oh, oh my gosh. It's hard to tell on cold. Okay. Okay, I think next is lots of lavender. This is really pretty. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I do, but it's really pretty. I'm I'm happy with the um, the chamomile in it, which I wasn't expecting to like all that much, but I do. Well, now I'm thinking. Actually, yeah. I'm changing. Okay. Next would have to be, I think, I'm surprised, crazy coconut, but I'm, I like this. I get a like fruit cocktail mixed with a creamy coconut. And I like the combination. I wasn't same coconut as Blue Coconut Beach, and I wasn't a super fan of that one. That one was a little too overwhelmingly coconut for me, but I think mixed, putting that mixed fruit cocktail in with it, I think it makes it really nice. So that is next. Then we have, let's see of these two. I'm not surprised for these. I'm just trying to decide which one I like better. I think next would be vanilla walnut. This is a really nice nutty vanilla scent. It's very nice. So that would be next. Then next is toasted apple butter. You know I'm an apple girl, so not really surprised at how much I like this one. This is very nice. So I think I like that even more on cold anyway than baked apple pie. And then from my reaction, this shouldn't be a shock to anyone. Toasted caramel sugar. You guys, this is so good. Seriously, this one, this one is going to have to go into my club. As long as it performs really well. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. So caramel, or no, toasted caramel sugar. Really good. I did like... Caramel. Oh yeah, I didn't. I forgot to smell this one again. Yeah, no, I like. I like the order. Okay, so yes. So there we go. There's my little disjointed coldness for you guys. I hope that was helpful for you, or at least entertaining. I'm sure it was entertaining. Um, so let me know if you started melting these, or if if you gotten these. If you're a consultant or if you're what you're going to get, if there's any that look good to you. Um, I am happy that I ended up getting the whole kit. Um, despite, <laughs> despite the Simply Patchouli. <laughs> but that one's going to go to someone. I have someone in mind actually that it will be going to because she loves patchouli. So um, thank you guys for spending some time with me. I appreciate you all and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.